I spent a little bit too much money on makeup this month. Now, some of them are makeup that I've never tried before. It'll be a first impression. And the others I've been repurchasing for years now. And to make myself feel a little bit better, I'm making a video on it. I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video, but girl, buckle up because a lot of these products are viral products that you've probably seen all over TikTok. And I'm gonna be giving you guys the tea on if these products are the shit or just shit. Now the first thing I'm gonna start out with is this Bobbi Brown moisturizer. If you guys watch TikTok, if you watch makeup artists, then you know this is talked about so much. I can't believe I've never tried it out before. It's the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. It has really cute packaging. Let's give it a nice little smell test. <sighs> that smells like fresh florals fresh roses. Now, if you don't like scented products, I usually don't use any scented products on my face, but like, we're gonna make an exception today. I'm not gonna take that much because my sister did tell me that she used a lot of this and it started to peel on her face and we don't want that. I'm taking the smallest amount. I'm actually gonna warm it up in my fingers a little bit and we're gonna go in and apply it. My first impression is immediately when I put this on my face, it doesn't smell like flowers anymore. It kind of smells like oranges as far as how my base looks it's nice i mean i've definitely used glowier moisturizers if you're gonna choose between this which was i don't know how much this was but it was expensive and this is the small one i would definitely get the tatcha dewy skin cream over this for sure let's move on i guess we're off to a great start now the next thing we're gonna put on our face is this new kosas sunscreen i think they just dropped this and i was so excited to get my hands on it because it is a glowy sunscreen. It's definitely going to be kind of like super goop, I'm assuming. Now, this is a very sketchy road for me. I kind of shied away from super goop for a little bit because I feel like it was just making my T-zone area look just greasy and not really the vibe. Immediately off the bat, I can tell it's going to be nice and sheen-like. Let's see how this looks. Okay, this is pretty. It's definitely less shiny than Super Goop. I don't feel like my skin is oily. It definitely feels nice and hydrated. And girl, I do feel glowy. And I love that. It says this is a mineral SPF. It has peptides, ceramides, hyaluronic acids. So good for the skin. SPF 40. I definitely would recommend this if you like that glowy look. However, I did go ahead and repurchase my Summer Friday sunscreen. This is my tried and true. I've been wearing this every single day. I actually bought three of these because I'm so obsessed with them. This gives you that glowy finish, but it kind of dries more satiny. And it also is a mineral sunscreen like this, but it just melts into the skin. Any skin color that you are, I just know this will be great for you. So we love her. All right, next, I'm so excited about this because I've been dying to get my hands on them. They are the Summer Fridays Skin Tint. Now, I am definitely the type of person that would use a moisturizer, concealer, bronzer, and go out the door. I honestly don't use skin tints that often, but if this formula is anything like this sunscreen, count me in. I went ahead and got shade 2 and shade 4. I'm going to go ahead and use shade 4 today because I do have some tanner on my face. Ooh, yes. Nice and watery, just like the sunscreen obsessed this looks so stunning on my skin in person it's like i feel like i don't even need concealer i saw mariana hewitt who actually owns this brand use a lighter shade underneath her eye and then she kind of like use a darker one for the perimeter and i just love that idea because i was like wow it's like a very very sheer concealer perfect for the beach perfect for the gym you can do a no makeup makeup look with concealer but you can still see that concealer whereas like this product actually just melted into the skin this is a yes for me it's kind of shocking but i don't really have any products from rare beauty in my makeup kit i think i have like one or two um so the second i walked into sephora i was like all right i want to try some of these products out i really wanted to try their cream contour and i also picked up their concealer as well this is actually a lot of first impressions now that i think about it you're welcome. Now, I got this one in the shade Bright Side. Everyone says this is like the creamiest formula ever, which, wow, I can tell by the way it's applying. It's actually really nice. I just went ahead straight on my face. For my girls who watch me, this is rare for me to paint right on my face. Usually I put it on my hand, 
but I really wanted to see if this melts into the skin like everyone says. I'm gonna take a nice buffing brush and let's just buff this product in and see how it goes. Okay, this is definitely a very nice and blendable formula. This looks gorgeous on the skin because I feel like we really prepped with a glowy base, but something tells me that this without a lot of hydration underneath could look a little bit muddy. I don't know for sure. I'm definitely gonna keep using this and see if that's the case, but I'm not obsessed. I like it, I'm not obsessed. I would give this like a seven out of 10. Now let's move on to the concealer. I've heard such good things about this. This is in the shade 230N and I'm going to actually just go straight in and put dots underneath the eyes. Cute. One thing I will say about these Rare Beauty products is they blend out like a dream. Like I feel like I don't need to put a lot of effort into blending, which is always a plus. I'm gonna see how this concealer sets. For me, I have pretty dry under eyes, so if I feel like the makeup is cracking after like five minutes, then I know it's just not for me. I'm gonna check back on the concealer at the end of the video to see how it's setting. I've heard so much about this Tower 28 blush, and I'm not gonna lie, I actually did go in and try it yesterday. I love it. It's in the shade Magic Hour. If you're a beginner, this blush is so freaking good, you guys. And I'm pretty sure this was a good price as well. It just melts onto the skin. It's really, really easy to apply. And I love this color. I also had to purchase the new Charlotte Tilbury blush. I believe that this is a matte formula, but my friend said that he tried it and it doesn't really come out too matte. I personally don't love a matte blush. If it has like more of a satin finish, I'll probably like it. I'm kind of tempted to put like one on each side, but I don't want to look crazy. Maybe I'll just mix them. I'm gonna give you some nice aesthetic right now. Oh my God, that came out fast. Three little zots on the cheek. See, you know what? What I love about Charlotte Tilbury is they may be pricey. You're definitely investing in makeup when it comes to them. Did you guys see how that just blended out? Like I even have dots on my face, which if you guys watch me, you know I don't recommend doing that because with a lot of blushes, you can end up seeing that spot if it's not perfectly blended, but I'm not trying to be dramatic, but this is the best blush I think I've ever put on my face. By the way, you guys, this is what I was talking about earlier. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm gonna try and go up close. My concealer is creasing and I don't know if it's the powder combination with it, but usually when it's creasing, it's a no from me. Guys, this blush, some people like to see their money hung up in their closet. I like to see it right on my face. I don't think I'm gonna layer this one on top of it because I'm loving how my blush looks right now, but I tried this yesterday. If you want a nice peachy blush, highly recommend this one. Now, I've been waiting to review this mascara because if you know, you know, this has a lot of controversy behind it. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. I got it in black brown. They also have black black, but I find with my brown eyes, I kind of just like a little bit of a lighter shade of mascara. We are gonna be putting this shit to the test today. I'm gonna tell you guys if this is worth the hype. First thing I do, no matter what, is curl these lashes. If you're not curling your lashes before your mascara, you're not reaching your potential. Like, I'm sorry. This is without mascara. All right, lashes are curled. Let's give this a whirl. Okay, this definitely did something, but I don't know if I'm loving how messy it's making my eyelashes look. Let me kind of go with less force on this eye and see if it's better. It's just kind of giving messy to me. I'm going in with a clean spoolie to kind of just like feather out the lashes a little bit. If you like your lashes to look messy and like they're going in all different types of directions, you'll definitely like this. Personally, no. Like my, my lashes are like clumping together. You guys, this is not the vibe. How does everyone say that they love this? I actually hate this mascara, like hate it. I'm gonna show you guys again. Do you see what's happening here? That's like after two minutes of trying to play with it. I'm not even like a mascara girl and now my mascara just looks cracky and dirty. It's safe to say this is not approved by me, but again, if you do like that messy look, you know, go off. If you guys watch my videos, you guys know I love the Say Star Glow. I got like the miniature version and I picked up the big version from Sephora because I love it so much. But of course, we're not going to waste this one. 
This looks so good if you're wearing it underneath your makeup or if you just kind of like want to tap it on. If you're using a liquid highlighter on top of anything, you really want to use a light hand so you're not disrupting what's underneath. Moving on to lips, I purchased this lip liner by Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Pinky Brown. And because this is super close to my lip shade, I'm kind of just using it to contour and add some dimension. I got two different lip products that I'm super excited about and I'm gonna try both of them because why not? First is this Gizu lip oil. I know a lot of people have been talking about it, saying they're obsessed with it. This better give what it needs to give or else. This is really average to me. I feel like I love Negin. She's so gorgeous. This doesn't have the best smell in my opinion. It's not really doing much for the lips. I feel like there's not a lot of shine. Um, and the yellowness is kind of throwing me off just a little bit. Yeah, not obsessed, but it definitely is hydrating. I like that it's nourishing my lips. Would I repurchase this? Probably not. I'm going to go ahead and actually wipe this off because I also got these from Summer Friday. Everybody uses these, so I'm dying to try them. This is the Lip Butter Balm. This is in the shade of vanilla. I'm pretty sure this one is clear. So I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, that smells amazing. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of biased because my friend who has super chapped lips, like I trust this girl with my life when it comes to lip products because every single 10 minutes she's applying something and she swears by this and says this keeps her lips hydrated all throughout the day. And I can feel why my lips definitely feel hydrated. I like the glow that it gives. The smell is amazing, you guys. This smells like a vanilla candle. People do say that this one on its own is really intense, so I feel like mixing is the move. Oh my god, these smell so good. I love that combination. Yes, absolutely yes. This is giving what it needs to give. I love the shade, love the way that it looks. My mascara is throwing me off. I feel like it kills the entire makeup look. Now that we're at the end of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and say my most favorite and my least favorite. Obviously, like I said, if you're gonna purchase one thing from this video, it has to be this. This is worth your money, you guys. You will see the second you start blending this on your face. And I hate to do this because I just hate putting other brands down because I just feel like there's so much work that goes into all of these makeup brands, all of the owners, beautiful people. But just strictly talking about the product and how it works on my face, this concealer did not work well for me. It's creasing all over. I just don't like it. But all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are subscribed to me, then you know that we officially hit 700,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough. I love you guys. You guys are my world. This has given me so much passion and purpose, and I'm just so excited for what the future has to hold. If you guys have any questions down below, feel free to ask. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.